Well, hello everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day and I'm going to try to do a little bit more combine surgery in this video. Things that pop up in game, I try, I'm, I'm trying to fix them as I find them. And there's maybe things I'll never get around to totally fixing. But as I see a few things that kind of alter uh, the ability to suspend reality for a little bit, I want to try to fix it. This one here, in the last video I did, I noticed some of the lights were off. And so the first thing I guess to do is to find the silly things. So I have the XML file up here. I'll just take a peek at it. Let's see, there's lights here that we see, and that's maybe the regular lights. Yeah, there's brake lights, there's turn signals, beacon lights. It appears most of them are in index 03, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, various locations. So I think that means on our model we have, like for the beak. well, those are the beacons. I guess I don't need to fix those. I think I've seen those work fine in game. Turning signals uh, had the hazards on numerous times. I think those are set up okay left and right, at least from what I've seen from behind the combine. I don't remember on the brake lights. I'm not too worried about those. So it's probably these. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 13. Um, yeah, so it appears there's a source for the real light, maybe where, and this is Farm Sim 15. I don't think it really had real lights, but maybe this is when you're in the combine where you can see light coming out in game versus decoration. So when you're outside of the combine or viewing it from a distance when it's hired, I believe you'll see the decoration. So they appear to be at the same index, so we're going to go find that and as I recall there were several several that uh, appeared so I wonder if it at the index it's gonna have a bunch of them maybe so I think we're on index 03 so we got to go to 0000 and then down here to 13 right to 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 oh look at that how handy it's identified so you know i don't know if this particular uh that's interesting i don't recall seeing this index and in game i'm not sure it casts a light behind the machine so let me just do a quick search and I'll see if this index is even yep it's not in there so I'm wondering if we need to add it you know perhaps to the real light here so that when the lights are turned on we can we can see it also in in behind the machine and there's probably something with this light type I believe maybe the different light types have to do with the toggle switch when you turn the light on, and I don't recall what they are. This says zero. Maybe if it's one, you know, if you turn on zero, it'll turn on the front lights. Maybe if you hit one, it turns on the front lights and the rear lights. I just don't remember how that works. We can kind of tinker with that a little bit and see what we can get it to do. But let's go back to the model here to 13. And the light itself is here. And the coronas, and these are what we saw that were misplaced. So that's kind of the transform. But what we need to check is just where all these things are sitting. Yeah, and as I look at that, <clears throat> some of these are in some places. Whoops. Oh my. That's moving quite a lot. Let me just bump that down so I can move around it as somewhat normal. Yes, yeah, some of these appear to be in places that you wouldn't expect. And you see that's, you know, I wonder, you know, look at that. It's, it's put, I almost think I remember adjusting this earlier. I know there's no light there. But 
that might be where someone would expect to see one and maybe that's the wrong approach you know these are just the coronas and it isn't the actual light itself it's where the player would see it you know in game the representation of it but oh, i wonder if this one's well, i don't know where that one is so i wonder if i need to trim what is showing up in here the only lights, you know, in terms of objects that we see, it is right up here on the cap. So uh, I wonder maybe if I need to change that so that that's the only place where the decorative part uh, shows up. Fake lights? I'm not really sure what, what that is, but I believe these are the only ones referred to in the XML file, 13.0 and 13.1. So 13.0 being the real light part and 13.1 <clears throat> being the decoration. So maybe at the get-go we could look at this and you know, I mean, this is the real light part and a part of me wonders, you know, why is it off-center? And maybe it's because the cab is a little bit off center. Maybe that's okay. It just kind of appears off center. I think the Z axis is front and aft. So maybe that's all right. But let's kind of look at this. You know, it has some different settings as to range. You know, probably 50 meters out in front of it will go. You could change the color. There was a time I, I did a bunch of messing around with this. I think this is similar between various versions of the game. And you can dramatically increase the intensity of the light in front of it if you want to have more visibility by tinkering with the values that appear in here. And you might have to do it in the XML. I don't recall. I kind of think if you, yeah, there's just going to be a, a slider here. Um, but it's something we could we could take a look at uh, cone angle you know spreading it out beyond the machine I'm not sure what, what all these things are maybe we can tinker with it a little bit but for the moment I basically want to move because you can see it and what I'm wondering is you know this this whatever this circle thing is called it is far removed from where I really want to have it. And I think I've previously moved this, and for whatever reason, part of it shows up down here, but where I really want the light to be is up here. So let me look at another one. This one is out here. Uh, this one is here. It just isn't. This one is beyond. Um, that's on the side, on this side. That's there. This one's here. You know, I seem to recall, maybe that's this one here. You know, I don't know what it's doing on the side of the machine, but I remember in game, you could clearly see one off to the side, and I wonder if this one's it. What I don't understand is why it's, you know, turned to the side. You think if, if you are looking at the combine from the side, it uh, it would just appear on the side of the machine, but I seem to recall it doesn't. And I'm kind of curious, this other one, you know, this one also, I really don't know where that one is. So let me pull that out. Does this have anything at all? Oh, it isn't even visible. Aha, okay, so let me make it invisible. Let me send it back to where it was and I'll make it visible here so we can see it all right so that one supposedly appears <laughs> way up there but you know I think for a frame of reference again since I'm not remembering I'm going to go over briefly in game and look at the combine and we'll see kind of how it appears then maybe I can take a picture of it so have something to refer to
Does the game ever do this to you, or it takes its sweet time opening up? I don't know why that is. But I'll just hop in the game that I had. Um, hopefully it's still dark enough we can see the lights at least. And once again, probably to really do this right, I should only have this alone in the mods folder and exclude every other mod. But I don't know. This is a game I'm playing at the moment. This is where I noticed it. So it'll work. But it'll take its time opening up. And maybe what I can do, since I'm not going to save any of this, I can uh, fast forward time, make it dark, so I can kind of see... Oops, I was on my combine right there. Alright, so let me turn on the lights. You know, that's just weird in some ways okay look at that there's the one probably for the side but it's kind of hanging there at a strange angle so that's yeah, and then it goes off so it isn't putting on any rear lights which you would have in real life there's always some that go behind the machine let me go back to the model. So I this you can only see it, you know, when you're okay, right there, like this one on the side. And I turn over this way, and if I turn far enough, there it is. It locks off. Oh. Huh. And it's almost it isn't on the side of the machine. That's just really interesting. Let's go to the model and return to that's on the side makes me wonder now I think that's the proper y-axis up but you know it's off to the side of the machine I just wonder if having this apart from sitting directly on there makes a difference you know something maybe I could give a try to I'll just load up another um, another browser here to <clears throat> look in the root game files <clears throat> sometimes it's helpful just to look at how the Giants set theirs up when you do any type of modding at all <clears throat> it's best to copy kind of what they did so Oh, since we're working on a new Holland Combine, I'll, I'll pull this up. I think the CR-1090, I think there's a smaller one. Um, maybe the 590? Is that one of the Combines? I believe it is. I'll just pull that up and we'll see kind of how their lights, their Coronas are set up. These, hopefully the Giants, you know, they do a pretty good job of labeling it. So we're going to see their work lights and their regular lights and the Coronas. And we'll get a peek at uh, what they do. So once again, i got to calm down my how quickly it moves here. Zoom back in. All right, so this is all of them that it's highlighting. So let's just look. Yeah, see that? This whole thingy is sitting right smack on it. And there's probably going to be, you know, six of them that cover up this front part here. So there's, a, or maybe okay, there's another, there's a second, there's another, there, there. Yeah, so so the app basically covers all those lights, but I'm noticing every single one of them is precisely on the the piece here, and you can move it about. So I bet in game that's exactly where it appears. So I'm wondering the fact that there's distance between those is kind of what's making them appear funny. And then of course they got these lights 
All right, so here's what I'm going to do. This is a white corona for these lights. I'm going to export the selection here with files. And I'm just going to call it uh, white corona. And I believe this is already on the machine. So maybe I'll just put it in shared, uh, put it here. I'll save it. And I'll come over to this little combine. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just delete them. Get rid of these because they're corrupt. And maybe the reds need to be looked at. I kind of wonder if these are set up. Aha. Yeah, those are set up way better. See how they're kind of sitting right on there? That's how, that's how you want it. Let me double check the other. Yep, that appears correct also. But these white ones, the mod author must have, well, I, I guess I can't say. I don't know what happened. But I'm going to import now this white corona that we just put here. And it's going to come in here. I will cut, cut and paste it into here. Oh, it almost puts it precisely where... I need it. It's even at a at kind of the right angle, if you will. So I'm gonna move that. What I always do to try to line stuff up is to look through like this red center line. If I want to get a dead center on there, I just need to look at it and make sure it's right. So that's kind of centered that way. Now I know I need to lift it just a little bit, or apparently, but there's another centering I need to do. And when I look at it at this angle, it says I'm a little bit high. So I'm gonna actually, I shouldn't have done that. It was actually pretty close. So now when I look at the at, you know what? That's pretty good. That's about uh, where you want it. Maybe it could come out just slightly, but you know, that's pretty close to, to what it needs to be. Let me just look at it from this angle. Yeah, I'm generally pleased with that. And maybe I need to look at it kind of over here close to the angles change on this stuff and you can't see it. That's, pr that's pretty decent. All right. We've... I mean, because this is a front of the machine, I'll put this up. I'll go Control D to duplicate it. Let me move this up. And this one here, we're going to move over to the other side. And actually, let me see if I put a negative there. Does it add? No, 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 no. That isn't what I wanted to do. Maybe it's the Z rotation or the Y rotation. There we go. Okay, that's going to tilt it. So just this side of the machine, you can sometimes use it that way. And it should be kind of on the same plane, I would hope. And that puts it right about the middle. I want to see on this other one what the height is. 4.023. Is that kind of what this is over here? 4.0 two three that gets down roughly the same area let me see the other um, now these lights I don't think are perfectly centered so I think my X my X uh, translate is going to be a little bit different between the two that's that's okay but Z should probably be identical so 3.852 when I come over here it's going to get it a little bit closer point eight five two so that gets a little closer into the light I'm just trying to make them consistent between both sides and I think you know it isn't perfect but if it's night when you're harvesting I'm hoping that'll be close enough so all right so we have those two lights and and you know this is this appears to be an older machine maybe the model isn't correct a lot of times you'll see lights show up kind of on the platform here 
where you climb up into the machine. I think occasionally you may see them at the bottom of the cab too. Sometimes they will mount lights over here, but I frankly don't see any of those lights. So the only ones we see are up top. So we've eliminated all the others and there's none on the side. Occasionally you know there'll be a light on the pipe and this one doesn't have it. So I'm hoping that means we're good. Now, if we're going to have lights behind the machine, well, then probably there should be something shining here. I may just fudge that and have a light shining back here anyways, even though there isn't a particular corona or, or what have you. You know, just so we can have some light behind the machine. I think in game when you're doing it at night, it's it's helpful. So, all right. So we didn't have to change any indexing or anything like that. Um, let's save what we have here. I'm gonna just close out of the game, and we'll uh, actually let me do one other thing. I know it takes time to <clears throat> to load the the game up. So, looking at this, we also have work lights up here. And I want to see kind of how, yeah, see, there's a back work light. We just proved this index is totally not hooked up. And the only Coronas they had, yeah, see, if we have a rear light, maybe it shows up in the, oh, oh, goodness, didn't mean to do that. Maybe it shows up with these red lights, but we don't really have a white light, you know, that would show Sometimes on a combine, I know I've seen, you'll see a light kind of fixed up here. There can be one on the pipe that maybe will point backwards. Maybe flat out there's something on the tin work back here, but we don't have any of that. It's only red. So those are the only Coronas we'd expect is red. And these are for the regular lights. But I'm thinking in the... Now if we go to the Giants model... And you know we'll we'll turn this, we'll close that. The back work light, there's gonna be a, a spot for this. And you know, let's just for kicks look at the settings on here. Range of 50 spot. I seem to recall these are similar settings to to what we have on our, our combine we're working on here. Although, let's see, uh, back work light let's just look at the settings 50.9 yeah the air, everything's identical cone angle 100 so the angle back here is actually going to be a little bit wider than it is in the front you know if we look at the front that was pointing forward the cone angle is only 90 um but we'll see we'll check that real quick here yep we see similar settings there so it's just it's just helpful to vet what we're doing on the mod with how the giants set things up. You know, generally speaking, things are going to work way better if we can set it up the way they do theirs. So now I guess the next question I have is, well, with how the giants set it up, what does their XML look like? We'll dip into that real quick. We have it here. So lights. And... I don't think they have a section for work lights. I think what they're doing is one of these is hot. Yeah, look at the app. light type zero, light type one, and I believe the light type one is going to be your working light. So let's bet that 16 should be our working lights. And that's exactly what it is. So these are the regular lights. That's uh, setting zero, and this is setting one. So just kind of looking at the ad, let me push that to the other view here in our text editor. So what I need to do is add another entry here. And real simple, I'll just copy, paste, and I got to go get the indexing in here. So the work lights are actually on the previous index. Three zero 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 twelve. This twelve zero is the light, and twelve one is the coronas. So I'll go back over here, and 
This was a direct copy, so we'll change this up here. 12, 0 is the regular light, and 12, 1 is the coronas, and the light type we're going to call 1. And I realize it's kind of out of order in here. I don't think that'll make any difference. It's just this information needs to be passed to the game so it knows kind of what the settings are. So when we go in game now, we we should be able to turn on lights behind the combine instead of just in front, you know, like we've done previously. And then furthermore, when we turn it on in front, we should now hopefully see coronas or light representations only here and here. So now that we've done that and looked at it, I'm going to save it one more time. Make sure I have that. Uh, make sure, yep, we've saved. I must have saved our, our XML, putting that in there. We're going to go in game, and we'll see if we can get this bad boy fixed. And, of course, it'll take its time getting into the game, but we're a patient sort, right? And if somebody knows of a way to do this where you don't have to go in and out of game all the time, I would love to know. This takes some of the most time, the most downtime, just sitting here waiting for your safe game to open up where you're experimenting or tinkering with something. And, and like I say, if I really was doing this right, I should be doing it on a stock map with only the one mod in the folder, and I think it'd be quite a bit quicker loading up. But right now it's loading everything else and just takes additional time. But we'll get there. There we go. Our puppy greets us. And we'll head to our little combine. All right, here's a moment of truth. Bingo! There's our lights. Look at them at slightly different angles. There we go. Yep, I I like that. There's just the two. That's the only lights we have. Aha! And then I hit it again. There's our working lights. Including the red coronas back there also. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me just... I'm going to fast forward time. See our sky and clouds moving ferociously all right we are into the dark <laughs> got a brand new sky now let's see what this looks like boom there's our lights 90 degree uh, cone up there you see the coronas that's pretty good you can look out and see it you could argue whether it's um, enough light but I think for our purposes it'll do now let's hit the other and there we go. There's a light behind the machine. We have those two red coronas. You know what? I call that a success. And so we'll uh, we'll terminate this video here. That's kind of how we can fix some of the running lights in our combine surgery. Thanks for watching and have a great day.